Hi guys, I'm back today with another Canva video, only this time is a little bit different. This is not for making a children's book, but this is to make author promotional images that you can use for your social media. Now this one I'm going to do for one of my novels rather than a children's book, but it's the exact same concept. You want to select the template for an Instagram post because that is the square one and it is pretty generic and goes on most platforms. Now to make book templates, Canva actually gives you an option. If you do, uh, upload, sorry, your flat cover file, the one that you would have created for maybe a Kindle or maybe just created a cover file before you've made a paperback just to get the look of it. You want to upload that. You want to click on it. So clicking on it as you see highlights it. You want to go to edit image and you want to go down to the Canva tool which is smart mockups. Now as you can see they do everything from laptops to phones to pictures all kinds of things that you can use to drag over to that book cover and it will insert it in the little space you see with the blue writing. Once you've done that, you would need to then download that as an image before you can use it in the next step. Now, they don't have a good range of books and Kindles on the Canva app, but I do want to show you a website that authors use constantly, and that is the 3D Book Cover Maker, which is here. I will put the link down in the description. So this is great for making up your 3D books. It's a really simple thing to do. You pick the one you want. I'm going to go for the hardcover here. You go to next. You browse and upload your flat cover file or your Kindle cover file as I'm doing here. Click upload. Then you want to click next. I'm just showing you that it's uploaded it. This is what it looks like. Click next. Then you want to go down to the bottom and download it as a PNG. This will give you a transparent background and you can use this in Canva. So you want to go back to Canva. I'm going to delete this here and upload your newly downloaded file, which you'll find in your downloads. And you can see it is a perfect little 3D book. Now I'm just going to make a simple author promo picture, which is like the generic one. They normally also add a Kindle or a phone to show that you can get an ebook of their books, which I'm going for the Kindle here. And I don't even need to re-upload because the picture's already there. I just need to download it straight away. So I'm going to also upload that to Canva and add it to my page. And here we have the generic hard book kindle combo that a lot of authors put on their promo pictures now as you can see the book has a shadow but the kindle does not so i'm just going to go into the elements and type in shadow then i'm going to click on the graphics and pick one which is a similar shape to my kindle it's a bit dark so i'm going to bring down the transparency to make it lighter to match the other shadow shrink it to the size of the kindle move it to the bottom of the Kindle and send it back one layer so the Kindle sits on it. Okay, so this is the generic sort of author promo picture. So we need a heading. And for headings, I can never decide on where I'm going to put it or the font. As you can see, when you move it around, a guide does show up to show you the optimal space for putting things on your image. I tend to try and stay within those lines. And here's me trying to figure out what I'm going to write. So the book title would be a start followed by my name. But I hate this font, so I'm going to try a few fonts. Now when picking fonts, it's a personal thing. A lot of people match them to their actual um, book covers. I'm having a look at my brand kit that's created for my author name and trying some of those fonts. And I'm not really liking, even with effect, how basic and boring that looks. You want your title to be a little bit attention grabbing, I guess. This all comes down to design and the look of your book and the theme of your book, I guess. This is the, the step that I always trip up because I hate picking fonts. So I've decided to go for my background first. I've just typed in dark background because my books are quite dark and I want some texture in my background. So I find one that is a similar kind of background theme to my books. I'm going to move that to the back, but then I'm going to use the transparency to lighten the color just to make it that my books stand out. I'm still fighting with this font. I still don't like it. 
so as you can see there's this thing in canva where you can go and click on a font and click in templates and then sorry design then styles which will actually help you out by offering you some palettes for your picture some fonts you can try some here I try this one first and it's far too dark so I use the little back button here to undo it and then I try this one and I really like it it matches my background to my book so much better and I didn't really stick around for the fonts I decided to pick my own fonts you can lose an entire day picking fonts on Canva but yeah I will try and make this quick so I tried a few fancy ones and all of them were fighting with my book. My book is quite busy and has quite a bold font itself so I decided simple would be better. For the time being I've picked this one because I'm spending far too much time fighting with fonts and I want to show you here that even when you have a text box you can separate out the elements by highlighting them and changing only those elements in your text box. So for example I've just changed the colour of half of my text box. It's a bit light so I'm going to go back and change the colour again and if you go down here you'll see Canva automatically takes your pictures and creates a palette for you using the exact colours in your picture and it makes it easier for when you want to match things like font. Once again I'm back in the fonts and I decide this one I'm sticking with. Okay so now I want to try and position this in a place where it feels relevant to the books and I also want to stick on a bright colour there because my book is quite a neutral tone I want to stick on a bright element and let's pretend this is not a previously released book and it's something I'm releasing now I'm being lazy and copying my text box so I don't have to go and find the font again and I'm just going to type in that this book is going live on a made up date or I think I actually changed this to pre-order just for something to show you this is how to create an author promo image. So I'm putting it inside this little badge so that it stands out and it's like a call to action like a a piece of news that I'm informing them for this book. Yeah there I changed it to pre-order but then I realized that was a mistake. So I'm sticking that there. Now something else that you can do when making your promo if you are stuck for inspiration like I am here where I've got to this stage I'm changing around the size of my head in and I'm just feeling like something doesn't look right something is missing this is too basic changing the headings moving around the wording isn't really making it look very polished and this is a basic look but I want it to be a bit more eye-catching so I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in author promotion images and click images and this will bring up some examples of some book promo if you type in different similar searches you'll get different ones and right away this one here is giving me ideas it's showing that you can add smoke he's put his website down the bottom and an amazon sign simple little additions but it's a really eye catch and he's also made his title really bold so i'm going to go and find some smoke because i like the idea and it kind of matches with the book covers i have they have kind of smoky backgrounds and i'm going to also find a smoke for the base so that the books are sort of sitting in that smoke as well as their shadows I put it too far back so I had to bring it forward a layer and that immediately grounds my books and sort of makes them pop I'm going to copy his idea and make him a font a bright colour to match my badge and it's made a difference already it looks a little more polished as you can see they added their website and the Amazon badge so I'm just going to copy the exact same thing I'm going to go and see what Amazon badges Canva has they don't have a lot if you want the proper one you can actually type in Amazon logo on Google Images and go to the Images tab and get a PNG of their logo. I've done that before but I'm just for this video going to use that one and I'm going to make a text box with my website so that I can position it on here. So I'm making my website font the same as my heading font but just the thinner version so it's not as in your face. And then I'm going to move everything up so I've got space for my website at the bottom. It just comes to adjusting and moving things a little. Make sure you also move your shadow. If things keep moving on you, click off your page and click back on. Sometimes you're just stuck on an element that you need to click off of. 
I'm going to enlarge my website and I'm going to center it. Canva is telling me with the little guides there that that was centered. And I'm going to move my Amazon badge to my Amazon logo, sorry, to my little badge here. Okay, so that's the sort of the elements I want on here. I just want to position them, make them a little bit better. And I want to show you here that you can you have control of your fonts individually within your little text box here. There are many um, pre-designed fonts on Canva already that you can go in and choose from if you don't know what to look for, what to use. But I want to customize mine by changing the line spacing so that the, they're not so spread away from each other. You can also um, change how the words are anchored together. This bit is a bit of playing around. As you can see, it's now overlapping the top one. I like it, but it's a bit too much. And it just feels like my name is now overtaking the title. I've shown you here, you can change the spacing between the letters too. So I'm going to go back and I'm just going to remove, re resize that so that they're not so overlapped. I like that better. And it looks a little more polished now. But something I also like to do with this book is add some splashes or specks because it is in my book cover and it's just about mirroring some of the elements in your book cover to your background so that it seems cohesive. I'm going to add some specks and using the specks I'm going to make them a little bit bigger and I'm going to recolor them down here using the palette created by my own photo and move them to the back so they go behind everything and there we go I have my author image I can now download this as a PNG and use it on all my social media and it took us about 10 minutes to create that from scratch so I hope this was helpful and if it was let me know and we'll make more in the future